Hello and welcome to our new video update. Every RPG has hundreds of characters in it. And, but the difference between RPG and any other video game is that characters can dress and undress in RPG. Uh, and it's a big problem for developers how to solve it. So let's have a look how we solved it. We will definitely need hundreds, maybe thousands of characters in the game. So we needed to develop our own tools to make it their development as easy as possible. Uh, we built our tool on top of Crangin. We would like to share it with the modding community later. And I would say it's the ultimate character customization tool ever developed. Uh, let's start with character bodies. Uh, we can change almost every aspect of their appearance. We can select their size, body mass, uh, skin, color, hair, facial hair, of course, face, and also paleness or tone of their skin. Of course, we can display different injuries on the bodies uh, as well. So there's really no limit of the appearance of any character in the game. The system we are most proud of is our clothing system. We have uh, 16 equipable slots on every single character in the game. And uh, what is most important and most special about it is that as in a real world, uh, you can layer clothing uh, in layers on each character. So for example, if you are an armored knight, you can have a gambeson on your torso, then a chainmail over the gambeson, uh, then plate armor over the chainmail, and on top of that you can have some expensive coat to show your social status to people. Uh, every layer has some uh, different purpose. Uh, every armor is good against different types of weapons. So if you used only chainmail, you will be well protected against swords, but not as good uh, against uh, arrows, for example. Uh, plate mail is very good against uh, most of the weapons, uh, but not hammers and, and axes and such weapons. Thanks to the system, we can create almost unlimited amount of characters. You can combine them as you wish. Every character can combine them. You can steal from other clothes from dead bodies, as well, so, of course. On top of that, every player, every slot can have different color and different size, as you can see uh, the fat knight here. And the clothing can get dirty or, or uh, damaged, uh, covered in blood uh, during the game. So you will need to wash your clothes uh, when you are too dirty, for example. No two characters in the game will look alike. We can create a thousand man army and every soldier will be different. Most importantly, it will, the work will be much easier for us. Uh, we don't need as many artists because since every character is built from little pieces, we just need to create those pieces and then combine them together, which, which is much easier to develop a lot of characters to the game. While the bodies are created by combining small parts, uh, we create uh, each character's head individually. We are using it for the latest 3D scanner for that, and then uh, our artist will hand polish every head. So this was our character customization system. I hope you liked it. And next time, in the next update, we are going to show you our horse riding. So stay tuned.